I'm Vivian Shipley. Uh, I'm the Connecticut State University Distinguished Professor and a professor at Southern Connecticut State University in New Haven, where I teach poetry writing. And I'm going to be reading to you from my most recent book, An Archaeology of Days, which was just published in 2019 by Negative Capability Press in Alabama. The cover photo is a photo of barns which still stand on my grandfather's farm in Hardin County, Kentucky. So I'm a native of Kentucky. Both sets of my parents live there um, on both sides for generations. And so it's important for me to preserve their heritage in these barns. The first poem I will read to you is entitled Cargo. And one of the th poems, one of the issues that I think poets confront continually is the answer to why there's so much suffering and evil in the world. Um, I think I write to have my heart come to terms with what my mind, my intellect can't comprehend. I know that evil is not going to be tamed, injustice is not going to be curbed. But poets must bear witness to the struggle of others so that they're not forgotten. This poem, Cargo, won the Steve Coet um, 2018 Poetry Prize. Cargo. A plover with a broken wing, flops on the granite outcropping abutting my seawall. At my computer, I cannot avoid seeing it if I look out the window. I can fold the newspaper on slaughters in Syria, Myanmar, faces of children who could no longer recognize their unveiled mothers blown into concrete barricades or wedged under car towers. To erase this bird, I must lose my view of Long Island Sound, my beach. The bird hops, stumbles, dragging feathers. Closing my blind, I blot out not only glare, but thought of the plover. Like the truck driver in Laredo, South Texas, who slammed rear doors of his 18-wheeler on 73 illegal immigrants who had crossed the Rio Grande by raft to stash houses. Late July 2017, the trucker knew air conditioning did not work and the four vents were blocked. On the interstate, sun flash of semis, the cab cool. In the back, air was stale as a kiln, motion baked out of it. The king of country, George Straits, all my exes live in Texas, on the radio, drowned out heels of hands pounding like ball-peen hammers on the metal wall. No ways to torch the drawers open, stopping at Walmart in San Antonio to relieve himself. The driver opened trailer doors to pitch black. Clobbered by light, bodies were birds that scattered like a pack of cards thrown up into the air. One man lurched out ran to a customer to beg for water. Too late to shut doors, the trucker feigned surprise at the cargo. Ten people dead, those too weak to stand, did not leave. I opened the blind, my bird is gone. Then, like the human tide from Mexico, back over the wall of rock it comes. I can block out the sight, but now, like the trucker, I can't ignore its wing. What if the plover won't go away to die? I'd like to believe I have a heart, unlike the trucker, who closed that trailer tractor door. Drawn by the bird's cries, my dog leaps, straining to go on the beach. Knowing what he will do, I'm tempted. Should I open the gate?